Hey, what's up guys? It's time for the Castanet Week in Review. My name is Braden Ursel, and I'll be hosting the show as we run through some of the Okanagan's best stories of the past week, including two boaters who went missing after a windstorm in Vernon, a wildfire that is burning quickly just 10 kilometers outside of Kamloops, the return of the Okanagan Tattoo Show in Kelowna, and finally, a story of a lucky lottery winner who snagged $35 million in Kamloops. We'll start things off in Vernon, where members of the local search and rescue team returned to Kalamelka and Okanagan Lake on Saturday in an effort to bring closure to the families whose loved ones are still missing. On Monday night, a windstorm swept through the Okanagan, and since then, two boaters are nowhere to be found. Earlier this week, RCMP said there are no indications that either victim survived the windstorm, and at the time of this recording, it is unknown if the search and rescue team was successful. A member of their team tells Cassinet they are compassionate and empathetic to the struggles of the families and that they don't feel their job is done until their family members are located. The two missing men are Van Hill and Eli Burica. Hill was at work on a shrimp boat when it capsized, while the 26-year-old Burica went missing while kayaking with friends on Cal Lake. A wildfire continues to burn just 10 kilometers south of Kamloops city limits. Dozens of firefighters from Mexico arrived in Kamloops this week and were deployed to the Ross Moore Lake wildfire on Saturday, focusing on mop-up and patrol where the blaze continues to smolder. The wildfire has reached over 2,700 hectares in size, is considered to be out of control at this time, and is burning between Coquihalla Highway and Highway 5. 18 properties remain on evacuation order, while another 327 remain under an evacuation alert. A Kamloops woman who won a 35 million Lotto Max jackpot says she hopes to buy her loved ones new homes and cars. Rhonda Maleskew, who was born and raised in Kamloops, hit the jackpot this week, splitting a $70 million prize with another winner in Alberta. That's crazy. It's like, how could you pick such crazy random numbers and then at the luck of the draw, they come up? Now, I want to buy my husband that has worked so hard all of his life a brand new diesel Denali. And then I'm getting the Ford Bronco. <laughs> the Okanagan Tattoo Show returned to Kelowna for the weekend, bringing in over 200 artists from all over the world to do some tattooing. It'll be tattoos that are like eagles, anchors, hearts, daggers, those kind of things. Real simple to get that. Then there's the whole Japanese end of things, which is a huge influence in tattooing. So you'll see a lot of that represented as well. But then there's new school tattoos, uh, tribal tattoos, ornamental tattoos. Writing, script is very big. It's kind of making a big resurgence and a big comeback. But a lot of the work you'll see here is realism. You'll see a lot of realism tattoos, stuff that looks very photorealistic. Every style will be represented here and it'll be really easy to browse and go around and look. With food trucks outside and bands playing both indoors and outdoors, this year's Okanagan Tattoo Show was one of the biggest yet, and it wraps up on Sunday night at 7 p.m. But that just about does it for the July 30th edition of the Week in Review. Be sure to catch us next week for more interesting news. For Castanet Media, I'm Braden Ursel.